two birds. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful bird in the forests of Udhampur. She lived happily with her friends and neighbors on a wise old banyan tree. She loved the forest for it provided ample food and places to fly around. One year, she gave birth to two little birds. The newborn lived in a nest she built on the tree. She cared for her babies deeply and loved them very much. The tree too spread out its branches lovingly around the babies. Day and night she cared for them and fed them well. Alas, one unfortunate day the forest experienced a storm like never before. Thunder, lightning, strong winds scared all the birds and animals. Many trees got uprooted. The bird hid in her nest trying to feel secure and praying fervently. Suddenly, a heavy branch broke and came crashing down. The bird was killed instantly. The kids were saved though. They were blown away by a gentler wind to the other side of the forest. One fell at the entrance of a cave. Many robbers lived inside this cave. The other sibling fell at the doorsteps of a blessed Rishi's ashram. Time slowly passed by and the birds gradually grew up. They were now big birds like their mother once had been. They had grown into mature birds with characters of their own. One fine day, King Harshvardhan of Purvasa visited the forest. He was a well-known hunter and wanted to hunt a game. He was busy chasing a deer and in the process went deep into the forest while chasing the deer. His soldiers slowly lost track and the king was left alone in the jungle. He didn't know where he was and neither did he know the way out. The king was truly bewildered. He was tired after the long day and hungry too. He had reached the other end of the forest. He decided to take a break and sat down under a huge shady banyan tree. He was taken aback when he heard someone say, Hey, come quickly! There's someone under the banyan tree. He has a horse and is wearing fine jewels. Take his things away before he rides away. The king looked around and could only see a bird perched on the tree. He could hear a commotion emanating from a cave. He lost no time in riding away to safety. He was relieved to see an ashram in a small clearing. He could see many ascetics going about their work. King Harshvardhan tethered his horse near the stream. Someone spoke up. O oh, mighty king, I welcome you to this holy place. You look tired. Please take rest. Rishi Agastya will be back soon. You can have this water. You do look thirsty. The king was overcome with gratitude. He looked at the bird. It looked very similar to the one he had seen some time back on the banyan tree. The bird read his thoughts and said, I think you have recently come across my brother. He has made friends with the robbers and behaves like them. I am sorry if he misbehaved with you. The Rishi entered the ashram and saw the king standing there. He welcomed the king warmly and invited him to the cottage for dinner. Over dinner, the king narrated his strange experience with the two look-alike birds. This forest is unique and surprising. The Rishi smiled knowingly. He said, O king, one is known by the company one keeps. The bird you met in the morning has been in the company of robbers. The bird you met here has been in this holy place since a long time. He behaves like he watches everyone doing. Now come, don't spend any more time thinking about this. Take rest. Long after the king had returned to his palace, he kept thinking about the birds and the lesson they taught him unknowingly.